Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Here's what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Research produces a new antibiotic resistant to bacterial resistance. Researchers at the University of Illinois, Chicago and Harvard University have created an antibiotic that could provide medicine with a fresh tool to combat truck resistant bacteria and their associated diseases. Published in Nature Chemical Biology and the antibiotic Cresomycin effectively suppresses pathogenic bacteria that have become resistant to many commonly prescribed antimicrobial drugs. The UIC scientists focused on how many antibiotics interact with a common cellular target, the ribosome and how drug-resistant bacteria modify their ribosomes to defend themselves. The critical insights into cellular mechanisms and structure aided Harvard researchers in designing and synthesizing new drugs, including the development of new antibiotic. More than half of all antibiotic inhibit growth of pathogenic bacteria by interfering with the protein biosynthesis, a complex pro process catalyzed by the ribosome. Antibiotics bind to bacterial ribosome and disrupt this protein manufacturing process, causing bacterial invaders to die. But many bacterial species evolved simple defenses against this attack. In one's defense, they interfere with antibiotic activity by adding a single methyl group of one carbon and three hydrogen atoms to their ribosomes. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess the depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Regulating telomerase activity the natural ends of chromosomes resemble broken DNA, posing a challenge in distinguishing them from intact strands. However, every cell must differentiate between the two, as the best method to safeguard the healthy end of a chromosome is also the least effective way to mend damaged DNA. The enzyme telomerase is responsible for maintaining protective telomerase as natural ends of chromosome. If telomerase were to seal off a broken strand of DNA with a telomere, it would prevent further repair of that break and delete essential genes. The study published in Science describes how cells avoid such mishaps. These findings show that telomerase can indeed run amok, adding telom telomeres to damaged DNA and would do so were it not for the ATR kinase, a key enzyme that responds to DNA damage. Telomerase is a good thing because it maintains our telomeres, but it should only be acting as natural ends of chromosomes. It is very bad if it acts as double-stranded DNA breaks because it can lead to the loss of all genes distilled to the break, said Titia Dilang, the Leon Hess professor at Rockefeller. This detrimental aspect of telomerase is inhibited by the ATR kinase, which among its many talents also keep telomerase away. A protein-packed breakfast enhances both satiety and concentration. A recent study from Denmark investigates the connection between diet and cognitive abilities, demonstrating that a breakfast high in protein can enhance feeling of fullness and boost concentration. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. This is a well-known platitude that has never had much basis in scientific evidence. The study monitored 30 obese women aged 18 to 30 for three days, during which the women consumed a protein-rich breakfast, a carbohydrate-rich breakfast or no breakfast at all. The women's sense of satiety, hormone levels and energy intake were measured at lunchtime along with their total daily energy intake. They were also required to complete a cognitive concentration test during the study. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.